today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a tag video and this tag is created by one of my friends, Angelica Lirmar. I will leave her up here down in the description and also leave her video. And she has done, this is her third eyeshadow palette tag or her third tag. I have done her other two tags. I think she's amazing with doing tag videos. And she also is an amazing person. So if you don't watch Angelica, you should really do that. And yeah, this is the eyeshadow palette collection tag. If you have ever seen me do a tag video, you know that I can't remember shit. So this is eight questions. And this is about palettes. Only eyeshadow palettes. And all the questions starts in the same way. So they are like, if you would pick an eyeshadow palette in your collection that represents and then something. So I am going to try to get through this. I have put out eight palettes. I only took one palette per category or per question. And I hope that I will get through this. I think I will. And I need to check my phone because, as I said, memory, not great. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents me color story, I think this was the hardest one. But I've taken the palette that I, I think this actually is my favorite palette I have. And I took the secret palette from Nabla. I know this is like a boring palette. But I just love this. I don't know if this represents me or not, but it has like some colors, but they are not like too bright, but they are at the same time bold. And this has like everything. I don't know if I would want to be a little bit more grungy, but it feels like I'm not there yet. <laughs> So I've taken this and I have used this quite a lot and it's just such a good palette. I love that I can do like a complete neutral look if I want to. I can do a really dark look because it has a really good black. I can do a greenish look with this rosemary. This shade is amazing. So I've taken this as representative for me. But now when I look at it, it doesn't look much to the world, but it's just a really good palette. <laughs> I thought first thought like maybe I should take a really really grungy palette, but at the same time it's not always I want to be super grungy. So I took this and I going to stick with this pick. I think I'm going to because one other thing that this has that I love in palettes it has like a matte pink and a shimmer pink I love that when it has like a cohesive not cohesive like a pair of a matte and shimmer so yeah this represents me color story wise are you surprised maybe I am but it's just it's just I think it's one of my favorite palettes and now I have a hair in my lipstick somewhere. So question number two. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represent me but in packaging, I took this one, the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell. This is the most prettiest palette I have. I am not like into witch stuff or like crystals or anything like that but I like the aesthetic of it I say that with uh, this in my ear but I just love this it also looks like a book so it looks like pages and I just love the black and the gold and I love the back side I love the front I <laughs> also love this this is my prettiest palette and I just love the packaging of this one it doesn't it, I wouldn't change a thing with this and if I would ever do an eyeshadow palette it would be black and it would be with stuff on it <laughs> what but 
the aesthetic of this one I really love it and I think it represents me because if you I just what brain fart I just love it I love how it look and this is things that I love I love little quirky creepier things and when I finally would buy a house, it will be a little bit creepy. So I think that represents me. I hope it does. So question number three. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents spring. I took this palette because of the packaging, but also the inside. And it's the Nabla Soul Blooming Palette. I am not a super big fan of flowers. I'm starting to like flowers a little bit more, but I think this is a really cute palette. I know they got a little bit of shit when this came out because people didn't think the inside matches the outside, but I think it does. It looks like this. This is a really cute palette and it is just a really nice color story, I think, even though this is not my favorite, but I think I think of spring, I think of lighter looks, I think of pink looks, and it has some really nice shimmers. And I usually do whatever I want. I now it's starting to get spring and I have a makeup look like this, but this makes me feel of lighter looks, more fun looks, and it is just a really good palette. I know that Angelica loves this palette, and I understand why. I really like it, I not love it, it's not my favorite palette, but it is really good. Question number four. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents happy. And I think this was one of the easiest to answer, and it is the Nomad Tokyo Harajuku palette. Even though I had some troubles when I using this, because I need to use it in another way than I use my... It's really light... Really light palette, and I can't work with all of the shadows that I usually do, but... I just love the look of this. It makes me happy, mostly because it's cats now. I don't think you can see all my cats because they're destroyed but like this one it's just it just makes me happy the color story is it's just fun i do not use this palette so much on its own i usually use it together with other palettes like taking one of the multichromes or maybe pop a bright pastel yellow but this I always feel happy and even like the packaging I love this front even though I'm not that into cutesy stuff this palette it is something about it that just makes me happy so this this was so easy question number five if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents the dark and grungy in me and I took the Arcana palette from Shroud. I really love this palette. I know it's not for everybody because it's really dark, but I, I think it's just so freaking cool. And this also have the thing that I love, like a matte green and a shimmer green and a blue and a pinkish. And this is just amazing. And this gold shade, the shimmers in this palette is some of the best shimmers I have. They are so opaque. It's just an amazing palette. And I don't use it as much on my channel. I don't think I've ever done Free Looks 1 palette with this. I think I should do it. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. And this is one of the grungiest. And I love it when like they release this palette. I know that I... I needed it because this is this is also like me in a palette but I think that the secret palette from Nabla is more all sides of me this is only my grungy me so this is why it 
I took it on this question, but this could also represent me, but if you love grungy eyeshadow looks, you need this palette because it's just amazing and I need to use it. I think this will be my multi next multiple looks. And the next question is <laughs> 180 because that is, if you would pick, no, if I, how hard can this be? If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents the girl in me, and I'm not super girly, not like in the way I dress or in the way I look. I'm, I'm not that cute, maybe? I don't know. But I took this palette, the ASPJ Scarlet Dusk. I think this is um, such a good palette. It looks like this, so maybe it's a little bit darker than most of you maybe would say that a girly palette is. But it has some really cute pink colors and the girly in me is pink but with something dark. And this is just amazing. This is, I think, one of my favorite palettes from ASPJ actually. I bought this together with Vintage Dawn and I was like 100% sure that the Vintage Dawn was going to be my favorite of them. But this is, I don't know what it is with this palette, but sometimes it comes in like a pinkish palette in my life. That I'm just like blown away by and that I love. And this is the one. So this is the girly side of me. It's some lighter pinkish and then it's some really dark. And I love that, that it has like these three colors or especially this one and this one that are really dark that you can just deepen down the look and make it grungy but still pink. I just love it. Question number seven. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents fun. And it is <laughs> the Creepy Cute from Shroud. This was the first pastel palette I used. And these are the most amazing pastel, pal pastel palettes, pastel shades I have ever tried. I love these. Like this green take a hint. It is so freaking green. It is this green on your eyes and that is like with all the bright pastels they are what you see in the pan you get on your eyes. I love this and this this is fun to work with because I, I don't use pastel that much but I've used some pastels and Sometimes you get a little bit disappointed when you see something in a pan and like this is going to be a fun look and you put it on and just blend out to a bleh, but this doesn't, so this is just a fun little palette and I think it's amazing that it can be that fun with just like six colors, but I really love this one. I've done a free looks one palette with this one. I did one fun look, or maybe two fun looks. It was a while ago, I can leave it up here, but this, every time I want to do something fun, I take this because it's, you get what you see and it's just fun and I love the front of it as well. And the last question, I think this was maybe the hardest one. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents inspiration. And this was hard because now I do not have super much inspiration. I trying to find my way back to play with makeup. Sometimes I'm sit down and trying to do a makeup look and I have no idea what I want to do. I open a bunch of palettes and I'm like, fuck this, I don't know what to do. But there is one palette, now the latest month, or maybe two months, that I have picked out and used and I think I've used this more than I usually use an eyeshadow palette and it is actually the Club Nebula, Neb why can't I say this? The Club Nebula, Nebula palette together with the 
Kaleidos together with an Elika Nyqvist. It looks like this and I think why this has inspired me so much is because of the layout because when you're feeling uninspired um, with makeup it is so nice to take a palette that like show you a look so I can just take a whole row and I have a makeup look I don't need to think about it and I love that with this palette and especially now when I haven't felt like super inspired and motivated to do makeup I can just open this palette and okay I think I maybe want something red and I take the row down here and it's easy crease outer corner lid inner corner highlight or if I want this on my lid and I am so happy that I have this palette especially now and I, I think this is a really good palette and I'm happy that it can inspire me I think maybe if I would do this tag video in two weeks maybe I would feel something else especially on this question but right now this inspires me because it's easy to use and I'm really happy for that so this is the palette that ins inspires me the most in my collection as for right now and if I will continue this shit train I think it will be like that for a long time and yeah that was all for this tag video it felt I thought it was going to be longer but maybe I didn't have that much to talk about but yeah I really hope you liked this and thank you Angelica for tagging me in this and thank you for an amazing tag again you are so good at this I always love it when you come up with tag videos and don't forget to check out Angelica I can also leave some of my other friends that has done this tag I'm pretty late with this things happen but yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one bye